Hey everybody, Tyson Galland here. Today I'm making a video on how to dynamically balance your Steadicam that has a bolt installed onto the gimbal. Now, just to understand what we do here at Tiffin is when we get a gimbal, we will make it bolt compatible, verify that it's center balanced, and then we'll install the bolt onto the gimbal. The reason why we take those steps is because once you install a bolt onto a gimbal, it will give off the indication that it's no longer center balanced, even though technically the gimbal is. And I'll show you that here. So the gimbal's already been center balanced. This sled has a three second drop time, okay? So now from a static position, if I pan this rig 180 degrees and I release, what we're gonna see is the rig begins to tilt a little bit, okay? Now, now this gives off the idea that maybe the gimbal is not center balanced. I do also recommend to check your top stage and your base because I have seen some sleds in the past that those are actually the contributing factors to uh, this type of thing, okay? So now we will check dynamic balance. So from a static position, which this way is good, if I give this a spin, the rig obviously is not dynamic balanced. But the first thing that it started to do was that it started to nose up. The camera was nosing up, all right? So I'm using that information that the rig is giving me to know what to do next. So if I think about that as if the rig was statically balanced, I have these masses, my monitor, my base, uh, my, my my batteries that I could adjust to make it more static, right? It was nosing up quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move the rods in quite a bit. So I got these indicators right here on the rods. So I'm gonna move them six in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lock that in. Obviously now I'm no longer statically balanced. So now I have to make a gross adjustment with my top plate. Once I'm close, I'll lock that in. Make any micro adjustments on the fore and aft. Okay, all right, so now I'll give this a spin. And as you can see, it is now dynamically balanced. And I'll even release my hand here and let it free spin for a little bit so you can see that I'm not influencing that in any way to make it to be dynamically balanced. So the only reason why this is happening is because the gimbal was center balanced ahead of time and then the bolt was added on. And because the gimbal is center balanced, it is able to overcome any of those irregularities that the bolts could cause to make it seem like it's not center balanced. 